wrote letters to Senator Reed and Senator Whitehouse so that we could tell them we want to help stop climate change and that it's a big thing for us. We did this project for our fifth grade science class. We're helping people know how to teach climate change. We are going on March 7th to Providence College to present at a project-based learning conference. I'm going to help teachers teach students. I'm a little nervous about it because it's in front of tons of teachers. You have to calm down, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> We made a new design for the lower school building and it was a building and then you've got white roof to reflect sunlight, solar panels, a green roof and then vines down the side to catch carbon dioxide and more windows. I thought the most interesting part was the uh, three jars project we did. The uh, third jar was the one that would be like our earth in a couple years or so. Elizabeth threw some dry ice in and, and closed the cover and let it melt overnight so that it was filled up with carbon dioxide. And that one spiked way higher. Our presentation was mostly about things we can do on the MB grounds. So one of them was on parking lots, we could have like carports. It would have a white roof on it that was sloped on the sides. The white roof, it can just bounce the light right back off. So if we do that, there will be less heat for the carbon dioxide molecules to heat up using push mowers instead of instead of like lawn mowers that use fuel. As we were learning um, about climate change, I kind of like started to think about my place in the world and how I was affecting climate change and how I can help it. This is happening and this is something we need to stop. I kind of learned that it was a way bigger problem than I expected it to be at the beginning. But then once I like learned about climate change more and more, it just was like, okay, we really have to do something with this. We just, we have to immediately.